Hello folks, it's Rebecca here at Rebecca's Retro, back with another Friday Finds video. And I'm sorry to say that again this week, it's coming on Saturday instead of Friday. This fall is really getting in the way of my videoing, but that's okay because it lets me show you some of the things that I actually picked up the night before at Hare's auction. This week was kind of a slow week at Hare's, but nonetheless, I managed to come home with more than enough treasures to keep me busy for a while. This week, I picked up some a lot of Christmas things, and so that's what I'm going to show you today. I know you probably aren't in the Christmas mood yet, but as fast as the fall is flying by, um, I think we're all going to be getting in that mood very soon. So let me show you some of the things that I got. I'm going to start with um, some kitschy kind of items. Um, there were, in one of the boxes, there were a couple of these plastic uh, trees with a snow globe in the middle of them. You can see the snow swirling around the Santa in there. And this one has a cute little snowman in the middle of it. So you can see the snow swirling around him as well. I just think they're really cute, um, particularly if you have children in your house and, or if or grandchildren who enjoy snow globes. You don't have to worry about these breaking. They're plastic and they've held up probably for 30 or 40 years. So there's some kitschy items. Another one that falls in that category was a bag that came that was filled with hand crocheted Christmas bills. They've been starched stiff and there are, I don't know, maybe about 12 of them in this bag, but I think they're really fun. There's also another variation. There are four that are in um, colors that don't have a, that don't really ring. They have like a little holly berry in there. So that was a fun one. I, I have a feeling that these are going to go fast to people who are into Christmas kitsch. So those were some of the things that were in there. And then there was this cute little set of Yule Tots. And this was from the 1980s. And you can see that there are little um, wooden ornaments in there with this little doll with her yarn hair. There's one of her in a rocking chair. Here's one of her, I think it's this, driving a little engine, train engine. And then another one driving a little car. Almost like, yeah, a little car, I guess. So those are a cute little wooden set that would look darling um, on a kid's tree. I always have fun um, making up stories about the people whose things are at Harris. Because as I've mentioned before, what the family, what the Harris family does is they go and help people clean out houses um, when a parent or someone else has moved perhaps to a retirement community or perhaps has passed away. And so it's fascinating to try to piece together the story of this person, what they enjoyed, what they were like by the kinds of things that were in their boxes. And last night, I got a sense that at least the woman of the house um, that was cleared out uh, at one point either was an uh, Avon dealer or um, was a good customer of an Avon woman or Avon dealer. And so one of the things that I thought were really cute were these Avon nutcracker wooden ornaments. Um, there you see Clara and I think that's Clara. I don't think she's, yeah, that's clear. Well, no, that might be the Sugar Plum Fairy. She has a little um, wand there. But there were four of these little ornaments. Okay, this one I know is the Nutcracker. Um, but these would make really, I think, a fun gift. There's the mouse. If you have uh, someone in your family 
who has danced the Nutcracker, a little ballerina perhaps is dancing it right now. These would make darling stocking stuffers for that kind of person. So these are from the early or the late uh, 1980s, early 90s from Avon. And I have four of those Nutcrackers. Three of them are in their original boxes. One lost his box along the way. Another one of the Avon items that she had, and this was called from their gift collection, and this is a Merry Little Christmas display stand, but it actually comes with all the little miniature um, ornaments in place, and so it is really cute. It is in perfect, perfect condition, and all of the little ornaments are there. So again, this is a really delightful um, uh, Christmas decoration, particularly if you have young ones in the house, because they will be very taken by those little characters. So those were some of the Avon things. There were a whole bunch more as well, but I didn't want to go on and on about those. Um, there were also some really pretty items, really pretty um, Christmas items that I picked up, including two um, Bean and... Um, uh, Grondel blue and white annual, um, you know, the, the Christmas bell for the year. This one is from 1981, and I also have the 1980 bell. Um, I have to admit, I also picked up 61 more of the uh, Christmas plates and Mother's Day plates. I, uh, If you are a regular watcher of these videos, you know that a week or so ago, I picked up a whole bunch of those plates. So I think I probably have enough now to carry me through until death does us part, or at least that's what my husband thinks. So I'm going to have to resist the temptation if those show up again. But I think I can make room for a few more bills if those show up. But I think they're very pretty. Here's the box that they came in. Even the box is lovely. So I have two of those. And then I picked up, in one of the boxes, this Mikasa Silent Night Christmas Bell. And as I researched it, I found that these are from the 1990s, and that there was a whole set of dishes in this Silent Night line. But let me show you this beautiful bell. It's really gorgeous. I hope you can see the detailing on it. It's Santa in his sleigh. And then um, his reindeer that you know are circling the bell, and the clapper is inside there. So it's it's a lovely piece. Now I'm really debating though whether I'm going to put that in my store or not because I don't do real well on selling uh, clear items or really actually bells. So, but it's so pretty. I'm I'm still thinking about that. Then in one of the boxes, there was this really lovely um, star or uh, tree shaped plate. And it is um, from the Christmas Village series by Mason's, an English porcelain company. And again, when I was researching this, I found out this is from the early 1980s. And this came with everything. And I'll tell you, I'm glad I didn't discover this set of dishes earlier, or I would have been off and racing, having to have this for my own for Christmas. I love this piece, but I'll put it in the store, maybe use it until um, it sells. So those are the Christmas items that I wanted to show you, some kitschy, some Avon collectible, and then I want to end with one that I find I still haven't quite made up my mind yet, and I'd like your help in deciding so you can vote and tell me what you think. This is a musical Christmas lighthouse and let me show you. You can see the light flashes and there's this music which I have to say borders on annoying. So let me turn it off here. Um, I think that this would be kind of a fun uh, Christmas decoration for a beach house or a cabin along the shore or a lake, or just for anyone who really likes lighthouses. I have some friends who are 
great Lighthouse fans, but that music, I'm, I'm not sure about that. So vote in the comments below and let me know, should this be listed in my store or should I bless my local thrift store with this Christmas beauty? It is pretty nice, but it's in excellent condition, but that, that music, I'm not sure. Um, the directions, listen to this, the directions even say the sound is controlled, so you can repeat this lovely music simply by clapping your hands. Hmm, I don't know. So there's, there's this final piece. So that's Rebecca's Retro for today. Uh, finds hot off um, my shopping at Hair's Auction last evening. Some fun Christmas things that will be going into my store very soon. It's been fun sharing them with you, and I look forward to seeing you again on Friday or maybe a Saturday. Who knows what this next week is going to be like. I hope yours is a good week, a fun week, and full of surprises, just like my usual trip to Hair's Auction. See you later. Bye.